I can, I can hear. I can hear what you're saying. It's all right. Downtown area. Okay, you can see just a little bit of snow coming right over Cheyenne Mountain right now. Uh, we picked up a decent little two to four inches across western El Paso County last night with that band that came through. Nice little break here uh, in the clouds. You can see a little sunshine off in the distance there from Woodland Park from our peak internet camera, uh, Cripple Creek, uh, picking up on some snow right now. You can see the uh, pavement looking a little wet, so make it a little slick out there with this added layer of snow. Uh, you can see from our Century Casino camera uh, in the Cripple Creek area. Let's take you to our forecast lows tonight and then we'll take you hour by hour through those bands of snow that are going to move through this evening. I know everyone knows at this point it's just downright cold. It's dangerously cold and that's not hype to say that uh, you, you have any exposed skin as you step out the door, especially uh, with your your hands, your face. You can just feel it in a matter of minutes. Uh, Temperatures down well below zero this evening. Wind chill readings below zero as well. Uh, we will be very bitter cold across the far eastern plains yet again this evening. Uh, you'll notice here future cast shows added snow across parts of Fremont County. An additional four to eight inches possible. An additional two to four inches possible in Colorado Springs this evening. And that is going to run through early Thursday morning. So that is why those winter storm warnings are still in place across parts of El Paso County, Pueblo County, even across parts of the mountains. So it will be a uh, set up very similar to what we saw last night where bands kind of push across the region. Uh, they start to orient south to north, kind of breaking up as we move deeper into the overnight hours. But most of those more moderate bands will start to set up here across El Paso County uh, between about 6 and 9 p.m. this evening. Some of those bands will linger into the overnight time frame. So it looks like we could pick up another good four to eight inches there in Fremont County, two to four in El Paso County, and an additional one to three in Pueblo County. Wall uh, will continue to see ongoing snow passing over the next several hours. So wave comes in, wave goes out, and that will be very similar until about 4 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Then as you step out the door for your morning commutes, still some icy roads, but most of the heavy snow starts to really break up and dissipate, and then we'll slowly slowly start to clear out as we move through the afternoon hours. So expect it to still be a bitter cold start tomorrow morning and we will struggle to make it into the 20s tomorrow afternoon and still pretty cold and blustery across the region. As we look ahead to the weekend, what are we going to do Saturday? My goodness, it's going to be in the 30s. Whew. I am going to be so grateful for the 30s. My goodness, I mean, it just renders me speechless. Temperatures in the teens and 20s for Pueblo on Thursday. We clear out. It's going to be a nice little heat wave coming. Just kidding. Uh, 37 on Friday and increasing sunshine into the weekend. Temperatures near 60 degrees on Sunday. Whiplash in temperatures. My goodness, it's uh, like the North Pole came down for a visit and now it's going back home. And, you know, we can get uh, a little milder here. So that is exactly what's going to happen. I can hear your excitement through the TV. I'm excited too. Calm down. Colorado Springs in the teens and 20s tomorrow. Lingering bands of snow through about 4 o'clock in the morning. And then we are done with this system. But we really get a lot warmer uh, by Friday at the very earliest, Saturday at the latest. I'm never going to complain about the cold in the 30s ever again. Oh, ever. It's time for I've some learned. beach volleyball. <laughs> no, right? I mean, oh. all right. Getting ready for it, Mary. Thank you. All right. Time for a quick peek at traffic. Here's I-25.